section six of the national geographic magazine volume eight july august eighteen ninety seven this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by betty b geographic literature magnetic declination in the united states by henry gannett from the seventeenth annual report of the u s geological survey washington eighteen ninety six pages two hundred three to four hundred forty with map of the united states showing the lines of equal magnetic declination for the year nineteen hundred this memoir of two hundred thirty seven pages sets forth and discusses the data used in making the magnetic map which accompanies it this map whereon the curves of equal declination or isogonic lines for the year nineteen hundred are shown is about eighteen by twenty eight inches in size and is printed in four colors black for projection lines names and all cultural features blue for streams green for the oceans and large lakes and brown for the hill and mountain features these relief features are shown by contour lines the contour interval from two thousand feet upward is one thousand feet below the two thousand foot contour the interval is variable over this base map the magnetic curves are printed in red the magnetic declination popularly called variation of the compass is subject to several known periodic changes of these the most important is the secular change a change with a period running through centuries hence its name as this secular change is progressive from year to year for long periods and as it amounts in the united states to from two feet to five feet per year it is for the surveyor and mariner the most important of the periodic changes indeed it is the only one of much practical importance at present it is to this practically important quantity that mr gannett has wisely devoted the greater part of the labor expended on this memoir the weakness of similar maps hitherto produced has been recognized by both their makers and users to be largely due to defective knowledge of the secular change of the two hundred thirty seven pages comprised in the memoir eighty two are devoted to data for secular change a table of results by counties occupies one hundred thirty five pages while the remaining twenty pages are given to introductory matter discussion statement of sources of data etc the sources of the data are the coast survey lake survey the wheeler hayden and powell surveys new york state survey new jersey geological survey boundary surveys united states corps of engineers army exploring expedition national academy of sciences and others but it is chiefly from the records of the united states general land office and from county surveyors that a vast quantity of hitherto unused material has been derived indeed so abundant are data in the general land office that it was only needful to select for the older land office states such as were desired the mass is much greater than is needed to produce a map sufficient for all practical needs as to this mr gannett says i have not attempted to make a complete collection of this material the amount is too vast to make it worth while i have however collected all the observations which appear upon the plats of exteriors and standard lines the land office requires that in the survey of all standard and exterior lines the declination be observed supplementing them wherever needed by observations made in connection with the subdivision of townships altogether i have abstracted from the plats of the general land office nearly twenty thousand observations and these form perhaps nine-tenths of the material herewith presented as the work of subdivision and accompanying magnetic observations began a century ago it is obvious that these land office records constitute a veritable storehouse of information on secular change a storehouse of which mr gannett is the first to make general use in addition to these data 
a circular was sent to all the county surveyors in the united states and from the returns much valuable information was obtained as the accuracy of the material from the land office and county surveyors is not of the highest the adopted mode of reduction was not the most accurate the graphic methods used were rapid and sufficiently accurate for the purpose which was to present in the form of a map and the form of a table the best knowledge available as to the magnetic declination in the year nineteen hundred the work was planned and executed as a practical matter and chiefly for the use of surveyors the only wonder is that the great stock of data in the general land office has not been hitherto made use of now that it has been perhaps some of the colleges and universities in the land office states may be stimulated to undertake a similar work for their own states going over all the data and supplementing them by observations where such are found to be desirable m b carpenter's geographical reader asia by frank g carpenter pages three hundred four with maps and illustrations new york american book company eighteen ninety seven this little book treats of the various countries of asia mainly with relation to the occupations social customs amusements etc of their inhabitants being derived in the main from personal observation and experience its descriptions are vivid and characteristic with plenty of local color h g studies in indiana geography edited by charles redway dreyer m a m d professor of geography in the indiana state normal school first series pages one hundred thirteen quarto terre haute indiana the inland publishing company eighteen ninety seven fifty cents this is a geographic reader treating of local geography shaped on the lines of modern science the dedication to professor william m davis is an index to the character of the book the opening chapter entitled the new geography is a most excellent statement of what geography should be the general physical geography of the state is given in broad outlines clearly and simply the topography of the state being largely the result of glacial deposition this subject receives considerable attention under the chapter headings the glacial deposits of indiana and the morainal lakes of indiana the natural resources of the state coal gas petroleum soils building stone clays etc receive a chapter an interesting subject only too briefly treated is the changes which have taken place in the surface of the state during the period of white occupation as a specimen of what might be done for all our great cities the book contains a study of the city of terre haute this consists of a number of questions intended to draw out from schoolboys a full account of the origin history location mode of government municipal improvements and social condition of the city it is exhaustive extremely suggestive and altogether admirable the book closes with a history of the great lakes which seems rather out of place in this connection the maps in the book are by no means in keeping with the quality of the text being crudely drawn and poorly executed the work as a whole is a most valuable addition to the teaching of geography and its influence will be felt not only in the state of indiana but elsewhere h g end of section six end of the national geographic magazine volume eight july august eighteen ninety seven